Alright, welcome back to uh, my Assassin's Creed playthrough, the totally professional playthrough. Uh, I'm being joined again by my friend, the artist formerly known as Lorax, who is now Lorshak. How's it going, Lorshak? <clears throat> Lorshak's journal. Working way through Assassin's Creed. Kill all who oppose. And for the dozen of you that get that reference, I respect you. <laughs> Alrighty, so, Assassin's Creed 2. This is a... Uh, Bit of a special one, in my opinion. This is a uh, this was the first one I ever played back in 2012, about 10 years, 10 years ago. Yeah, um, this was the first like open world game I think I ever had on my PS3, and I remember I played it through multiple times before even thinking about getting the next one. Like it had there it had been out for three years, but I like, played through AC2 like five times before playing the next one. <laughs> it was one of those kind of games because when you know when you're a kid and you have you have um. And you have a game you're into. That's just the game you have for like months. Oh yeah. So back whenever you know, fifteen dollars was precious money. Oh good, yeah. I mean now it still yeah, is, that... but you, that's not an excuse anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I don't. I don't really like have the. Uh, like I know about the games. Like I, I, but I definitely don't have like the the large amount of history that, that you know you. You do. I, I think I, I don't think I got into the franchise until about the time when Revelations was coming out. Right. That was the first. That was the first game I actually actively mm -hmm. knew anything about, and obviously, like it was the end of a trilogy, so I didn't even really get right. that much into it because I wanted the, I wanted to see what was going on with the rest of the franchise first. What? That's so I don't. I don't. Yeah. That's pretty close, actually. Whenever I was first introduced to it, because I only first started playing this, even heard about Assassin's Creed, because my one friend invited me over to his house, we were hanging out, and he just showed me this random game where he knew I was a bit of a history nerd, so he was like, hey, it's a game where you're in historic cities, and you can climb absolutely everything and kill people. <laughs> and I'm like, I've just been playing the Call of Duty campaigns over and over again, how have I missed this? So I was like, sign me the heck up. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> and so I think, whenever I got into it, I think I first played it at my friend's house probably just after Revelations came out, and then got AC2 that July, and then was just so hyped. I played through the next three games and was so hyped for whenever AC3 was coming out, because that was like, mm -hmm. that was the first game I think I got the day of release. I think that was the first oh, time nice. I went and made sure I, I think we had a day off too, which was perfect. But like, I had planned so much around that day just to play all Assassin's Creed 3 the whole day and as much as I could the next day, and... It, it was one of those classic kid moments, but th this game, this one here, oh, AC2, yeah. just started that all. So let's uh, let's uh, jump in and hope the yeah, controls that, uh... are similar. <laughs> oh, my name is Desmond Miles. <laughs> I'm a prisoner of war, a war I never knew existed, waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it, using me to search for something. They call it the Apple. It's an artifact, one of many so called pieces of Eden. Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. I think I got a motorcycle now. But I can't do it yeah. alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. She's so hot. I think she's on my side. She's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here. And I need to do it soon. Didn't she just my name like is Desmond Miles? And this is my story. Just like leave the room for a minute? Like he's acting like I think he has some serious separation issues if she walks out of the room. She's gone forever! Yeah. <laughs> She's never coming back. 
Like, I don't think he has object permanence quite down. Maybe that didn't come through with the Animus. <laughs> we have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now. The last, like, five minutes. <laughs> it's, it's only been, like, 30 seconds. Like, he literally <laughs> walked into the room and walked back out. Desmond. She somehow, like, changed her whole outfit in that time as well. Apparently, or at least got more blood on it. Ooh, that, well, that feels weird. It. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, <laughs> we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. Yes, Bobby. All right. I mean, yes... Luke, yes. Okay. Hurry On up, it. Desmond. These controls feel really weird. Also, like, it, it's one of those, like, I'm not, like, too hard on it, because, like, obviously, first game in the series or whatever. But I love the implication that, like, for some reason, Lucy still did the finger thing, even though, like, they haven't done that since, like, for how long? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think she did. I, don't, I think she kind of folded her finger down as a symbol saying, hey, I'm one too. Spingy. Spingy. De novo. Oh, crap. I don't speak Italian. The subtitles. Well, she's saying, oh god, oh god, this is disgusting. It's Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> oh, my love. I never made it this far. Gotcha. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Oh, crap, what is that? Give him here. Giovanni. I thought you had a stomach kick. My love. <laughs> you be all right. <laughs> tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò. Combati. What? What does that button? Okay. I I don't know what that button is. I guess it's just you're click. You're trying to punch your father. It looks like. This I. There's no button on the <laughs> keyboard for that. What is what is foot? There is no foot button. No, that's not it. <laughs> Hey Siri, what is foot button? Okay, okay, it was that. Okay. Which one was that? That was space. Empty hand. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. The most useless tutorial ever. <laughs> What shall we call him, my lord? Imagine, like, that happening, like, in real time. The baby's just, like, flailing in his arms. <laughs> like, the amount of time it took to figure out those buttons, he would have suffocated. That baby would have died. Ezio is no more. Get up. Let's go. Oh, jeez, I was just bored. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. But I was just bored. For some reason, the the mouse control on this is really weird. Oh, really getting out of here, is it, huh? a sen is it a sensitivity thing or? Sturgo's I don't know. Up in the deck. I might regret this. Stay close. Oh, well. Hey, you're not supposed to be up here. Open this door! I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. That's a bit better. Repeat, there's been a breach in the research wing. Maybe. Hey, over here. This one is just like very jarring. Let's see. Right, these... There they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> Holy shit! And she never did anything that cool again, I think. I don't really remember. <laughs> Look at this place. Uh... I don't remember either, actually. What 
about the cameras? I rigged them. No, it's still not the right sensitivity. Now it's, now it's too sensitive. Old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I, I've been told. I was just sneaky. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Careful. Just you be careful. Look at my swagger. I don't need to be careful. I'm swamped. We need to get to that elevator I'm on the other man. side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep Every James Bond security. movie summarized. You avoid a fight. So you want me to not fight people? See, there's going to be a little problem with that one. <laughs> Is that an See, I have a raging bloodlust, so that's not really going to work for me. Wait. Hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Many of them are there. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> At least they improved the fist fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go? Lucy, I think I made a boo boo. Um. Marco! <laughs> Just, um, uh, you didn't see anything. Walk this way. <laughs> Look casual. If we dash the mouse wasn't fighting me in every turn. I don't... Not inverted or anything, it's just weird. Let's go to back to default. I don't obviously need any vibration. The truck man cometh. It's like, I can put no work in and it'll immediately spin the whole way around. Maybe I'll turn it down a bit, actually. Seriously, where'd she go? Wait, is this the elevator again? I am doing <laughs> so well here. I was just born. I don't have the mental capacity yeah. to do this. That's got to be the biggest, like, and she's just here now. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Well, apparently you can apparate, so... <laughs> How did you do that? You still need a car. Let's go. Apparently not. What's the point of a double-prong security what system was that, if you feel only one of them works? Subject 16? Ezio? Audi? Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's how my brother still refers to Ezio. Vidic and oh, the Templars, no. they're only part of I'm kidding, of he calls him Pretzel. What do you mean? I'll explain <laughs> when we get there. Get where? I met a guy who unironically called him like Ezio, and I was like, "We, I can't no longer associate with you." You are no longer worth my time. I, I, I no longer wish to be in your presence. <laughs> That's right, I'm Batman. You're not Batman. You will never be Batman. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta keep the references down a little bit. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't. That's that's it's that's your whole persona. <laughs> it's, it's my entire thing. Both I'm your names have been references I... so far. Very many. niche references. <laughs> it's like you guys are taking turns. It's not how fighting is supposed to work. It's very polite though. The point, point of there being multiple of you is that you attack at the same time. Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. 
Man. You know what else is for my own protection? Seatbelts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get, they go up like five hills across every gravel road while he's in the back. I mean, aren't they in Italy right now? I'm pretty sure they're in Italy. Like this Abstergo facility aren't. is canonically in Italy, and I guess like there's a lot of roads there that aren't very that aren't um like cement or yeah. asphalt. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, you... bouncing around. Love this it. way. You have to hit every pedestrian. So, tell me what's going on now. There was a reason. I learned that from my ancestor. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but. Lucy's kinda what? hot. What is it? Well, yeah. We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I, just, I still Kristen, don't see how it's I. Kristen Bell, place. what'd you expect? I have, a, I have a thing about a woman with uh, blood Tell on her shirt. One of us. Wait. What? Wait no. a minute. <laughs> no, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this. And even if Hold I was, up. it would take months. Years even. No. Not with the animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just. Oh, one about guy. that. About the Sometimes, bleeding effect. That's all you need. <laughs> So that's why you got a little. Is, is that what you call it? Human blood. Ezio? Right here. If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? I know, Look, There's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Don't you see, hug me! Oh my god! Lucy! <laughs> You made it. God, it's been so You know, long. with her here, this Seven really years. is a good it? place. Indeed. <laughs> oh, there's back. a posh. Oh, there's a posh. Ah, so this must be the oh. infamous Subject oh. 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? Was, I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm up. Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice yeah, to no meet you, No one cares about Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, Hello? but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is hey, precious. Hey, hey. So Don't diss Sean and Rebecca. They We've got everything set up and world. ready, Lucy. Oh, Just obvious. Say the oh, word yeah. and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is this amazing. Is, this is a man's finger. With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. <laughs> I'm imagining her reacting to that like, um... In, like in that Wild Wild West movie. With, like in the wild, yeah, that's a man's head. That is a man's... Head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with our favorite actor, Will Smith. Our fa- oh, oh, yeah. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Well, he's like the Sean's coffee guy that just wants to act more important than he is. Archives. It's like yeah. a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across oh. anything of note, people, oh. places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Ah, so you got a rival yeah, here, Lord Chad. just databases, though. I also provide no. tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little huh. things like that. I'm sorry, I was just in Abstergo, fighting sorry, Abstergo have you, agents. Have you ever been in the heart of a Templar op operation? No, I don't think you're you are. You're over have. here playing Galaga while... Yeah, you're... And, and lecturing me. You're over here on your freaking Reddit feeds. Freaking on, like, on r slash brain cell trying to figure out how to not be a beta male. And I'm <laughs> over here freaking hanging out with the women. <laughs> Tell us which one of us is more important. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Yeah, I'm just wondering Sigma. what your role is in all this. <laughs> I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? 
It's the PewDiePie chair. You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. I guess I was wrong about the cup holders. Oh, that might be a later game. <laughs> I hope Maybe so. They add the cup holder later. Okay, I think I'm going to lower the sensitivity even more. Okay. Still feels a little bit awkward. I know. I'm, I think I briefly mentioned it uh, in the, uh, the the session we did with one, where I was talking about like I thought that's it made better. sense that they implemented the animus with like the gaming company because like that's like the pinnacle of pos potential gaming technology. Just plug into the chair and you're just yeah, like that. Uh, yeah. Is this the only bed in the place? Do, do you guys have, like, a uh, really, really weird relationship? I don't think there was any question that they have a really, really weird relationship. I just, I mean, I didn't think it was going to be this, like, You got even, like, overt. mood lighting here and such. You got a view I mean, of what I'm assuming is Florence looking at those... Looking at, looking at those buildings. Um, and the TV's right there. Yeah, they've... It's an interesting way to set up an assassin uh, cell. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist. What they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. So, like, again, this is coming from, like, the, um, the perspective of someone who hasn't seen or played Origins at all. Like, um, that, they, uh, that game obviously sets, the, like, the, the groundwork for not only what become the Assassins, but also what become the Templars and everything. Did they just, did that organization just, like, exist for, like, so much of history, but then as soon as they became the Templar Knight, they just stuck with that name for the rest of time? That's actually a Valhalla uh, plotline. The Order of the Ancients existed before the Assassins. Hmm. They existed before the Hidden Ones. They were around during the time of Odyssey and before then. Um, but uh, they are not... They're a precursor, but they're not the same as the Templars. It's not just a case that they adopted a new name. It's that the Templars kind of rose out of what was the Order of the Ancients and became something different. Okay. Okay. Just, I, I was listening to his like to Desmond's like monologue, so his like recap. Oh. Of course. Deep Have you seen breath. the Matrix? Ah. Oh, what not like that. Tiny child? <laughs> it's not. Sean. It's nothing at all like that. Wow. <laughs> To shove a freaking massive pipe into the back of his head. Ugh. That thing's about the size of the tube that they stuck in me when my appendix burst. Ooh. Nah, <laughs> that was that was more into my gut. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and I was awake when they pulled that thing out. That was not pleasant. Ooh, I can't imagine. And it was a and it was like a not a trainee, but it was a it was a newbie doing it. So I, they, they told me he was, like, a recently, like, graduated student. I was like, oh, goody, I'm someone's first. <laughs> That's always fun. Yeah. Uh, but, but anyway, yeah. Firenze. Firenze. I was listening to Desmond's monologue, and, like, the way he talked about it, it made it seem like he didn't even know that, like, the Knights Templar really existed. Like, he was, he just said the Templars. So without context, it just sounds like he has like no historic knowledge. <laughs> there he is. Where is he? Hey, the boy. My man. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Insieme. Silenzio, my friends. Silenzio. Grazie. Silenzio, Bruno. Do you no. know what brings us here tonight? <laughs> Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries no, no. upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Buonasera, Viere. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. 
I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself? Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. But she did a lot! I'm sure that won't stay. Uh, Which one was foot? I think it was... Which button? Okay. It was spacebar, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Which button is foot? And... Oh, oh yes. Uh, th yeah, I will, like, immediately admit, like, the combat in, like, 2 and the subsequent games, it, it immediately looks so much smoother than 1. Hey. Yeah. Behind you. I still do prefer the sword play in 1, I think, but it's only sword play, so... There's no variety whatsoever. And? You have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Ah. What happened? <laughs> I think that guy just Who fell on me. Oh god, I just killed oh, that guy. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that one before. That guy looks like someone's uncle. I did, well, I, he I, was. I that was like, wait. Well, that guy's I, not moving. There's some people that are not moving. I want to point that out. Uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I never got, like, the, um, the strategy behind doing a headbutt in combat. like that. Oh, it's a terrible idea. It's, it's not like, a win-win situation. No. Like, I mean, when someone like Batman does it, where he's got, like, the armor on his head, that makes more sense. I remember in, like, the re in like, that trailer for Revelations, you'll see Ezio do that to a guy with a helmet on it. Like, no, there's no way you're coming out of that oh, one no. the winner. Fall back. Fall back. You might still be alive, but you just you just gave yourself a massive headache. Hold on. Oh, yeah. What? We've almost won this. Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It is but a scratch. It's not necessary. Besides, I have no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> there's bound to be something in their pockets. Uh, introducing that there's an actual economy in this game. Yeah. Okay. That's something. That's another thing I never really noticed about the first game. Like, I, I legitimately never, like, noticed until very recently that, like, there is no money in the first game. No, it's just... Because you got all your, you don't have to buy anything. All the gear, all the gear yeah. is. For, only thing that's annoying, the only way to get knives is to fight those large brutes. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so cute. You're cuddling. <laughs> don't mind me. Well, I'm not trying to touch your butt, but I'm also <laughs> not not. But I trying. also will if I have to. <laughs> I'm not not trying. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It is Italia. I I am here for a good time. When in Roma. I don't know why I'm saying that. Like that's some sort of a stereotype I've heard of Italians. It's just it's it's a country that's not that's not where I'm from. So I can make I'll just make random stereotypes that yeah. have no yeah. merit to them. Cause that's healthy. Yeah. Uh, that can't possibly spread misinformation or anything. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now this was the Greek game. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, have, have I not looted enough people? Oh, I have not. Oh my gosh. Where haven't you gotten yet? Uh, Attention, everyone! Uh, all of you writhing, writhing <laughs> in pain. Uh, who of you have I robbed? There's like, I'm sure there's Raise like one more that has all the gold. Raise your hand if I have not pickpocketed you yet. No? Come on! And I guess that I guess that means no I have takers. to examine you all again. Oh, what about that guy? Yeah, I don't think you hit that guy yet. 
Is he there gonna have he 60? Is he gonna have 60? Wow. All okay. right, so it looks like another examination all, right. all around. The examinations begin anew. <laughs> that or I restart the love. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Oh. Ow. Well, there we go. Holy crap. I'm the rich what one. Guy, what does that guy do for a living? And then you get another hundred just for doing it. Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. You're always like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, the assassin symbol, that's supposed to be an eagle, right? It's the bottom of an eagle's skull, yes. Okay. I think I, I always used to think it was like an arrowhead. Well, they only really established that, that origin in, well, origins. Oh. <laughs> I tried to tackle my brother. Fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Forty I don't need to know Italian to know what he said there. Oh, no, yep. I prescribe you with leeches. There we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. That is actually a line, I'm pretty this sure. Way. Oh, I'm sure. Quite a night. Like, Indeed. No, I only wish they were no. all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre. <laughs> Baby brother still has much to learn. <laughs> I almost feel bad about this. Oh, no shame and failure, brother. Oh, well, hey, wait. stopped. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. Are we going way. silent? Where are you going? You'll see. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> Best, may it never change, and may it never change us. Oh, no. oh, it's so good. Really I good. love that scene so much. Wait, so everyone good. does. Great song. Surely Let's it will never you. become overused as a classic. <laughs> there will be time enough for that later. Uh. It will never be used as a meme in a Greek video game. And now I get the I'm Batman. Because <laughs> it's actually nighttime now. <laughs> Better hide. Keep looking. He couldn't have gotten far. What if you were an assassin that was like had hay allergies? <laughs> <laughs> Take a leap of faith. Hey. Okay, there's a problem with that. I'm just imagining like they're trying to stealth and like the guards pass by, and, like as the last one's about to leave, you just hear. <gasps> <laughs> This is like PG-13 God of War sex minigame. Yeah. Oh, it's you. I should have known. May I come in? Fine. 
but only for a minute. I'm, I'm pretty sure with, with the clouds. <laughs> well, wait. They do that. That came out wrong. They just do I'm, that. I'm I'm concerned about the weather patterns in in Florida. It's okay. It's fine. They might have called down God's wrath, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, the voice actors for Christina is like, she's the, um, Aveline from, uh, Liberation. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know if I can get these buttons right. Uh, okay, got it? <laughs> now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but Desmond's experiencing all of yes, this, right? It. Yes, I think he is. So, like, are they just watching his body, like, just, like, at, like... Aroused? The, uh, imagine them pulling him out and him being like, "No, no, no! You take me. You put me right back in that animus. Yeah, you put me back in. <laughs> I wasn't done yet. Or like, or like, this is the point that he's just like, this is all he's seeing. Like, he's not actually getting Ezio's point of view, and he's just like internally like, no. <laughs> Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that? What is this? Perdonate, messere. So you see, when a man and a woman are really like each other. That's not necessary. Guards, guards, voglio la sua testa. No, There's really no need for violence. I feel like I'm constantly having to fight the mouse here. <laughs> you have me confused with someone else. She needed some help with some things. I'm mostly innocent. All the simple times when you catch your you catch your daughter uh, uh, with that. some guy and you can just have him killed. Oh, actually, it's Italy. And after watching The Godfather, I'm pretty sure you can still do that. <laughs> Like there's any shortage of bodies of water to dump the bodies. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't just pray to get them to stop looking at me. Crap. Oh, What's I didn't mean to steal. I, I robbed a priest. Is Wait. that is that bad? Wait, why did that priest have money? <laughs> is that, isn't that the point of a priest? It was um indulgences. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. So, like, Giovanni Auditore, he's like... He like he's a he's a banker, right? Like he runs. Yeah, he's one of the he's a banker for um, Lorenzo di Medici. Right. So I don't know. Oh, oh excuse me. I don't know. There something of something about that, like a member of these secret societies being in charge of that stuff. Something's something's frightening about that. Well. Like, not enough for me to make a real comment on, just it's one of those, like, oh, oh, yeah, he he handles people's money and also kills people. Yeah, but I mean, not like the Templars don't have their own share of bankers. I mean, that's literally how it, the rest of the conspirators in this game, I'm pretty sure most of them are bankers. No, it's frightening no matter how you look at it. Like, no matter which side it is, it's even, like, when it's the supposed, like, good guys or the protagonists, it's still frightening from just an average spectator's point of view. Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? 
They've gone to Villa Carreggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. I'm so glad I'm playing this, um... Romeo and Juliet slice of life anime right now. Because, I mean, nothing bad's ever going to happen. I uh, Personally, I look forward to seeing all of these characters for, like, the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be a very wholesome, very happy story. Anyway! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're correct. When are we ever wrong? You know, I'd, I'd be willing to put money on it. I wouldn't. How much you putting down? <laughs> I thought I would be able to grab that. <laughs> Imagine these two. I'm gonna just like... sit this one off while I cry <laughs> about how broken my knees are now. Also, can you imagine, like, actually climbing in those pants? That'd be uncomfortable. Like, even walking in those pants. Like, they're leather pants. And, like, and also, like, because, like, oh, oh, I've tried... Chafing, chafing, chafing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> like, I've tried to do stuff even in, like, a modern-day suit, and I can barely, like, lift my arms over my head and still be comfortable. This guy's running around in freaking, like, leather... 1400s fashion. I'm like, nah, dude. Uh, I mean, he got a butt, though. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 sound, the tone of your voice was, you you, you can't get yourself to disagree with that. But you don't I, I want, want to, to agree. disagree, but, but I you can't. just can't. Because it's just too much of a fact. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber. Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Seems nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we'll have a I, long... I have a good feeling about that long guy. friendship with this guy. Let's see. Let's just get this one out of the way. Uh, I don't know why I'm ups... Why do I feel upset? This kid reminds me of the brother... The little brother from Disenchantment. I've not seen that yet. I, uh, I don't get that one. Sorry. Just a lot like this guy. I want, I'm expecting him to start whining about a big skillet. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Just saying, this kid's got like real sharp eyes. If he can see his feathers from that far away. I like to imagine that he was planning to like do an do an Icarus, and he was he was trying to build himself like a wingsuit. <laughs> Look, mother, I can fly. Wee. But but there's no hay bale underneath him. There is no. <laughs> he just dies. <laughs> that would have been Petruchio's true fate if he hadn't been well lived a happily happy life. Yeah, because nothing's lived, gonna happen. To Live a happy his... wholesome life. Just. Entirely unharmed. You know, I remember this being actually difficult the first time I played this game. <laughs> well, time limits always, like, when you're, like, even, like, whether you're younger or even if you're not, like, time limits add a, uh, even if it's not that hard, it, they add a special, uh, sense of difficulty to things. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I had the original... It's not quite the same, but I had the original uh, Lego Star Wars games, mm -hmm. and uh, the space segments in the first game were like basically rail shooters. Like you, you, you had a little bit of range. Oh, of I remember. Yeah. As promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. I can't Good wait to we figure have that out. But that. <laughs> But yeah, like, I remember playing those levels as a kid and just absolutely hating them because just they were, uh, like, they were so frustrating to me because, like, I could never 
get what I needed to do done in enough time. So I, I kept dying over and over again. I remember like in the Battle of Coruscant level. But other than that, yeah, I hated the ship and like the vehicle levels in early LEGO games. See, the Battle of Coruscant in LEGO Star that was the one space level I actually enjoyed. Yeah, that one was cool. They made that one cinematic. The, the Pod Racer one, that one sucks. Oh. And the, the, I, yeah, and the, the the Republic gunship level also. Oh, I forgot awful. about that one. Wow. And, and actually... Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. I told you the truth, didn't better I? better off without them. Yeah. I loved him. No, Claudia. You yeah, it you sounds did. like they were just he looking out for you. For what he's done. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll go have a word with him. That's a 180. Huh. I loved him! I loved him! Break his bones! I love him! Bring me his head! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I cut you off there. Oh, you're, no, the cut, the cut scene cut me off. Um. Well, yeah, I, I initiated it. <laughs> But that pod race level, that actually, I don't think that one is as much like nostalgia thing, because my friend and I, we streamed our way through the complete saga. And one of the bonus levels they have in there is the pod race level as it originally was in the like the first game. Because they, they did tweak some things in it for a complete saga. Like I think mm -hmm. they made the steering a bit tighter, like they made it a bit easier to control. You replay it, it drifts so much in really? the original version. It is it is so unplayable. I remember just absolutely loathing it in the original. I hated that level so much. Like that was one like I never replayed. Like mm -hmm. after I beat it, I just like nope. I'm never going back. I never I never bothered trying to get all the mini kits in that one. Nope. I just was like, no, no, this level's not worth revisiting. Up, 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 they're gonna do it? The, what? Duccio. I, I don't know. It's a beautiful. With the hood, I'm not wearing a hood. Yeah. Wait. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. My father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah, Virbante. And you, and Come, you went for let us this? A bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Hey, Luri do Porco! Ezio, my friend! Oh, uh, you insult Ah, uh, dang it. Oh, don't you dare miss the one with Leonardo later. What are you talking about? I know. I saw don't you dare. I know what button I needed to press. The things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtue. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. So you didn't hear you about the whole thing with Vieri talking. last night, did but you? But when it comes time for action, ha! you regret ever opening your mouth. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna break my face. That's what are you doing? She's lucky see, to have had someone see, my like face, what my did? Face is in so much pain right now. Hey, 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 hey! What did you learn? What did you learn? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right, all right. I'll let you get Jerusalem one in. I'll let you get one in. I will words. let you. I will let him get one in. I let him try. Oh, I'm sorry, my hand slipped. Stay away from my sister. <laughs> I, I love that they bring this guy back in Revelations. And uh, Brotherhood. Is he in Brotherhood? In one of the DLCs, yeah. With the That's DLC. That's awesome. That's great. I love that. Oh, they just bring him out for a second in Revelation, then you can just find him in the world and get a trophy for beating him up again. <laughs> Ima just imagine that. You run into a guy again for the first time in like in like 25 years and just immediately leave him first like in do. a bloody pulp in the middle of a foreign <laughs> city. Ima just imagine that. I think that's just, I think it's funny just considering like how much ever, how much Ezio has done at that point and like, like how much growth he's gone through and he still has enough of a grudge against this guy that the first thing he does. Although honestly, I don't think it's even so much about Claudia anymore. I think it's more of a case of he just needs to let off steam and Ducho, regardless of anything, Ducho always did something to deserve it. Yeah. He doesn't even need to wonder what it was. He can just assume Ducho's been uh -oh. a douche. See, the thing is I learned how to grab things again. 
I'm actually down. Well, they do still have dialogue lines. Yeah, they do for a while. I thought that was only a first game thing. Oh no, that's. I think that's at least into. Uh, am I even still be in Unity? Oh, I'm a fool. Yes. Buongiorno, a voi madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Oh. Oh. It's our boy. Did you get to I meet him? Your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Walk faster. Francesco de Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. <laughs> Your father speak at it. He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Oh, come on! <laughs> I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. Thing is, <laughs> I've played this so many times, I know exactly where to go. But it will pass. Mother! <laughs> this was your idea! Here we are. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. <laughs> back to your house then. Si, <laughs> si. It's your uh, help that Leonardo, line is funny, but it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Imagine being being 13 and playing that in your living room. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you do? He's been working for Excuse his father. Excuse me. Ah, you're to be a banker. Oh, my God. For now. I'm never doing an errand for you guys again. Was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to say. Why are you jogging? Nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically. More directly. So do these, do these games ever like? Or anatomy? Do you like? Merely to how many of his of Leonardo's achievements do you actually see oh, like Leonardo. happen in, in these games? I have no doubt. Um, great things. A good bit. Because he's pretty. He's, he's in kind of Brotherhood of as well, and right. the DLC is about him. Mm -hmm. But do you see the Last Supper in this one, or in, in any of them? I mean, no. I think that's supposed to be late because this is still kind of earlier in his life. Right. And like, I don't think it's that much of a hot take to say like Leonardo is still the best implementation of a historic figure in any of the any of the games. I think you're probably right in that respect. Like, oh. there's one I'll get into after this cutscene. That just, yeah, I'll, I'll get into it here. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anchio. Alright, now which one were you saying? Oh, one of the DLCs for Syndicate that they did. Uh, they basically did this whole... It was basically a series of, like, murder mysteries. And, like, they, they gave, the like, a... Yeah? Dreadful, like, uh, or Dreadful Streets of London or Penny, something? Penny Dreadfuls or something, yeah. And, like, yeah, they went they went all out with it. Like, they gave, they did the, they gave the Sherlock Holmes outfit as a DLC mm -hmm. thing. I actually bought that DLC and, the other day. Oh, nice. Just because I want to make sure I have it, because I heard it was good. 
I, I don't remember too much about it. The the big thing that I do remember is that the, the character you're talking, the main character that like gets Another like the fries into all that, he's got this little kid with him that like follows him around and everything, and is like inspired by his writings and everything. And he's like, yes, this is my uh, this is like my my little apprentice, Artie. And as soon as he said that, I just went, it's Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh, uh, like, yeah, that I'm, makes sense. I'm, like, I'm not even, like, I, I, I didn't even have to think about it. I just went, I'm, I'm calling it now. It's Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh, uh, just, it's definitely, that definitely sounds better than, uh, Plato in Odyssey. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's bad. Honestly, um, Graham, I didn't hate Graham Bell's implementation in, um, in Syndicate either. Um... <laughs> I guess he was in there, yeah. See, the other one that I remember from, uh, from Syndicate is Charles Darwin. Him, because, like, it, Karl Marx is another one. Yeah, because like, it just seems so forced, because he's just, like, he's outside the building. Yep. He's just, like, he just he just pulls Jacob aside just out of nowhere. He's like, hey, hey, you, come here. I'm Charles Darwin. Yeah, I don't like, I didn't like how Syndicate basically did a, uh, let's just throw historic people at you at any every possible turn. Z Zero punctuation, uh... He, he does, like, quick reviews of stuff. He, he summarized it pretty well, where he was like, like, you know in Assassin's Creed, when you've got Leonardo, and you get the organic relationship developing between him and Ezio, and he actually feels like a character. Well, yeah, Syndicate doesn't, Syndicate doesn't do that. Syndicate, act, Syndicate just feels like it's, a uh, it's one of those time travel education series. Hello, I'm the famous Charles Dickens. Hello, the famous Charles Dickens. What are you up to today? Well, I've just dropped all these papers that are going to turn into the books that I'm going to write. Would you help me collect them? Why, certainly, the famous Charles Dickens. That's exactly how it is. Pretty much what his missions I mean, are. That's how you run into Charles Dickens, you just bump into him as soon as you get to London. And while I like the Charles Dickens missions, because they're basically just, you're just going ghost hunting. Mm -hmm. I'll admit, yeah, that's pretty much all they are. All, 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 the, all those cameos are. Until you get to this... The Jack the Ripper DLC is surprisingly good for the fact that it just that says... Uh, it's, cool. it's just a major F you to actual history, but it's also really <laughs> well done. It's the good kind of F you to history. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still like... Yeah. Like, it's actually pretty interesting and it makes the characters themselves more interesting. Alrighty. Who is it? It's you. Come in, son. Father. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? No. And he just leaves. <laughs> I'm gonna go punch a woman in a red dress. <laughs> you are my victim. Oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> I went the wrong way. This is awkward. <laughs> um, Do it again, for good measure. <laughs> I'm a good person. <laughs> Nothing's illegal when I can outrun the law. <laughs> it's the, the, the Rick and Morty clip where he summons all the me seeks. Shield me from the law! <laughs> Which segues into the topic I wanted to bring up before this recorded. Uh, so, you know Rainbow Six Siege? Mm hmm. They're adding Rick and Morty. What? They're, they're adding skins so that two of the operators can look like Rick and Morty. They're not doing that. They're not doing that, right, right, Lord Shack? I, I, I can send you the trailer right now. <laughs> Wait, that's Google.
I'm going to be reborn into a world where that's not happening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> was I was I overtly dramatic there? Was I, was I doing too? Did I go too far? No, that's about what my initial reaction to seeing this was. <laughs> All right, now I'm not going to jump off anything this time on purpose. Okay. <laughs> Uh, one of the things it reminded me of, um, did you ever hear about or play the game uh, Lego Dimensions? I did not, no. So, for those, for anybody who does not know, Lego Dimensions came out at about around the time where, like, the Toys to Life craze in the gaming, like, industry was kind of at its... I won't say it was at its high, because I think the Skylanders was when that concept was at its high. But, like, it was at the point where a lot of people were trying to mimic it. Like, that was around the time when, like, Disney Infinity was coming out. Like, right. I think its second iteration had been out for a while when this happened. But it was basically, it was, it was the same concept. It was, like, Lego. Like, they gave you little pads and, like, oddly and weirdly enough, I actually think Lego was the best use of this. Because, like, you could actually, like, play with these toys because they were actual, like, minifigures and, like, tiny sets. Right. And everything and like but it was also very much a um an ip game like there were a lot of different franchises uh in this uh, i i i i don't want to hold this up go ahead <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to be polite <laughs> no and I, 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 i'm the same like i, I don't you giovanni kid no idiota he just happens to look oh, exactly nice. like the man give it here don't worry boy we are not contagious this time not I think we just don't want to do it's always sunny in Florence. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was a huge, it was a pretty big IP game, and it wasn't one that I was going to be interested in because, like, a lot of the IPs were very generic. Like, they, they had, like, Lord of the Rings, they had Batman, Lego Movie, like, all stuff that, like, they had already made Lego games based on. Right. So it, like, it kind of seemed redundant for them to be making this. There were a couple, like, ones that, like, The Simpsons had one. Okay, um, right. I know there was, wasn't like, there like a Doctor Who one too. That was what got me interested in it. The, the day they announced that there was going to be Doctor Who content, and that like all like at the time it was when Twelve was the current Doctor, right. so like and they had they let you play as like all Twelve, and like the TARDIS was a vehicle, and you could go inside and see all of the all the interiors and everything. That was when I was like, okay, we're buying this mm -hmm. specifically for the Doctor Who content. And then like down the line, they did introduce other content that. Uh, I was really into like they did Back to the Future stuff. They did uh, ET. They did Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Uh, which I've got the Sonic. I still have the both of the Sonic and the Doctor Who uh, minifigures. They're on my desk right now. But it was it was cool. Like from a conceptual level, it it was cool. It's just it was one of those like the whole Toys to Life thing was a bit like um pricey because you know you had to individually buy every single pack right. which i i do i'm surprised wasn't that whole concept's downfall a lot sooner than it was does that still exist now or no not at least if it does skylanders is the old well amiibos are still a thing so that's kind of the same yeah but other than that no i don't think so i remember webkins i have a delivery from giovanni Alatore. yes were you followed no why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait, come back. Explain yourself. Wait, the only the only real that was the only uh, soiree I had into um not soiree. The furry I had into that world of toys to life gaming where I just had a webkins that I had in like fourth grade. Mm -hmm. that, that was something. The, the whole, like, Rick and Morty thing in, uh, in, uh, being put in everything, really. Like, they're in Fortnite now. They, well, Fortnite doesn't make sense. Rainbow, Rainbow Six, I thought, used to be, a, like, a fairly realistic tactical shooter. And I guess there's somewhere down the line they decided, so I guess we're not going to do that anymore. Yeah. But it makes me realize, like, if LEGO Dimensions was still around, they absolutely would have done a Rick and Morty pack. Yeah. And I kind of would have been into it. 
Like, I, I would buy... If they... I'm... I'm surprised, but also not surprised that there hasn't been a Rick and Morty Lego set yet. Has there not? No. Really? Not that I know of. And, like, like there are some that, like, I didn't know about until, like, fairly recently. Like, the DeLorean from Back to the Future's a set. Hmm. Um... But no, to my knowledge, there has not been a Rick and Morty. I don't even know if there have been any, like, from the Lego Ideas thing. Huh. Like, I have the I have the TARDIS set uh, from Doctor Who. That's the only real, like, that's the only Ideas uh, What is this that I've button? Bought. <laughs> Which button? It just showed a camera. Hold camera for contextual... Uh, this is useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna look at the controls here. Yeah, what are the... <laughs> okay, okay. What does this mean? <laughs> no, this is actual... Okay, okay. okay. T There's was the button I needed. Okay. <laughs> if I hadn't played AC1 beforehand, this would be so much worse. <laughs> This is four. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wait. Oh, the switch between. Yeah, that's how it was in AC1 as well. Oh, it was the, okay, yeah, yeah, the number bar. I only saw the, I saw the fists for the, those, those birds aren't sitting on, well, now they're flying, but they, they weren't sitting on anything. You saw that, right? I did see that. And I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna. There's a there's a lot of franchises that like I'm I feel like we're good yeah you're good okay I just, I feel like would make good Lego content but for some reason like I don't for reasons I don't understand because I don't really know how copyright works and like who has the rights to what yeah so like maybe they've not made a Rick and Morty set because of licensing or because because you cannot tell me that they haven't made it because, like, oh, it's an adult show and everything. Like, no. You put Simpsons content in Lego Dimensions. You can't There's a... really use the adult, like, well, the adult. Well, except there is a pretty big gap between Simpsons level of adult and Rick and Morty level of adult. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. But still, like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like once you justify one, you can justify the other. Hmm. And, and, okay, and here's my reasoning for that, because there's a Rick and Morty cameo in Space Jam 2. Is there really? Yes, there is. And, like, they're actually voiced by, like, Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland. So, like, if they can get away with it and they can justify it, I don't see why Lego couldn't. <laughs> yeah. All right, big story moment here. All right. Father? Federico. Oh, come, come, come. Oh, I forgot. Ah, thank you. I'm oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. What happened? Quick time events. Where is everyone? Assassin's Creed 2. Ezio fucking and dies. Ezio Palazzo de la Signoria. To prison. And my mother. My sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you alright? Yes. But mother. She's in shock. They... When she resisted... It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes. Yes! To my sisters. Good. Do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. <sighs> I just pressed E. <laughs> Missed that Leonardo. <laughs> I know, I'll remember to expect it. <laughs> I think I know which buttons they it can be. I, I know which colors to look for. And I will literally cut off a finger. I will cut off my <laughs> ring finger if I miss the Leonardo <laughs> one. We will be resetting the checkpoint and going back if you we miss will it. be. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> leaving my brother hanging. That is not a joke. And if I can't, I, I will restart the game. 
It will do what Markiplier did in his Until Dawn playthrough, where he literally played the whole game twice because he got one of his favorite characters killed. Did he really? <laughs> yes, he did. I don't think he recorded all of it. Like, I think he just, like, did it all off camera. I, but, I, like, yeah, he did legitimately replay the whole game. I respect that. I, I very no, he does. He does like a whole rant about like I'm going back and I am uh, replay. Oh no! I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh. Uh. Ah. I remember whenever uh, Jack Black was doing his game. I don't know if he's still doing it anymore, but he was doing Red Dead Redemption Two. And every time he killed someone, he wanted to go back and see if he could not kill that person. Which obviously that's not how that game works. Not a, no. I, I, oh my goodness. Do you think someone has attempted a pacifist run through Red Dead 2? Well, they didn't get very far before realizing, oh wait, no. I'm the most useful member of the gang. It would have been a much longer playthrough than it needed to be, that's for sure. Yeah. So if I climb over here... Nope. Ezio. Father. What's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain! There's no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the Pigeon. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. I imagine that truck actually passing while they're having this conversation. <laughs> Nobody saw me. Just tell. No one suspects a thing. Just want to walk and cut someone's face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have a nice shoulder. Your face is good. I'm an Ezio. <laughs> following you. I don't think he's trying to. I think he's running away and crying. <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me? I think that's like one of the fastest ways to get your notoriety up is to kill those guys. What the <laughs> Screw your box. <laughs> Fuck your FedEx package. <laughs> Anyone gonna swing a pot at me in here? <laughs> hmm. Father said there was a door here. Oh boy, I wonder what should I do here, Lord Jack? Huh. I wonder where the door is. Wherever could it find... be? <laughs> oh! Oh! Alright, big scene.
and to bring this to Messer Roberto. So hype. Mm. And they keep they, every like half the subsequent games do a callback to that scene with the way they they pick up the robes. Yeah. Traditore! Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. What oh. do you want then? Okay. <laughs> well then, uh... Fair enough then. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he fell on my sword. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'd tell you. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm okay. so sorry. Um... Uh... Just gonna... They, they were like this when I got here. I'm, 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 I'm sure they'll be okay. I mean, who, whoever, whoever heard of a sword killing somebody? It's... Yeah, yeah, I... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, like, running around like this in the assassin robes, that makes more sense, because they would have probably been, like, crafted and fashioned to yeah. allow mobility. You, you can't tell. It's a long road cannot... to help you realize that there's actually they're actually assless chaps. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the flowing robe is necessary. Yes, and the robe's just longer in the next two games. He realizes it and like doubles down. Yeah, yeah. The benefit to longer robes. I'll be real. I actually prefer this armor in two to those longer ones. I, I do too. I think this is my favorite Ezio outfit. I wish this was the standard Ezio outfit yeah. that they bring back as like a legacy thing. Mm -hmm. This one, honestly, Brotherhood is my least favorite out of the three. Uh, yeah. I like Revelations as, as well. I do like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, it's just the, the, the length of it, it just, it, it's, it's ugly to me. I don't know. It takes everything I just said about mobility and exactly all of it. Oh uh, well, looks like I'm killing people. <laughs> oh boy, here I go killing again. Oh god, I just met your friends. Um, can I do my move yet? Not yet. Is it my turn yet? Wait, those guys. Why are those men? Why are those men going without weapons? They're not the smartest, are they? Oh, there we go. Oh, there he is. Okay, one of them figured out. I will out. only kill armed people. I lied. Except for that guy. There we go. That was completely accidental. <laughs> They I'm... brought this upon my, themselves. All right. Well, now it's time to go get my family off for a crime they didn't commit. They're innocent, I tell you. I'm in a position to talk about innocence. Yeah. <laughs> Ezio Auditore? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. I'm so glad I can trust that guy. Whoa. You just stood there like all night. I must have really phased out. <laughs> We're on an honest business. No fancy prices here. 
Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a victim of circumstance. Leave me alone. I swear. I feel to be doing it. I'll take this opportunity to say that was your first hit taken this whole game. Except for falling. Well, that doesn't count. That was self imposed. There were some that weren't. There was at least one time that wasn't. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Past never happened. I'm in control of my life. <laughs> Whoa. I say the past never happened in this game about a person experiencing his past. <laughs> That'd be the worst choice of words. This guy's just, like, appeared out of nowhere. Like, I'm... I must be, like, tripping balls. <laughs> oh, it's fine. The Animus's render distance is just really low. Yeah, yeah. Ezio could only barely remember the people that were there. He was actually very nearsighted. <laughs> That's what it is. That, that, it's not popping. It's just the memory being pretty lousy. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I have to actually go to that point first. Sure, this will go well. That's fine, he's got the documents. Yeah, I gave it to the good guy. Huh. What is going on over here? Hey, my family are on stage! Are they gonna do a song? Giovanni Auditore! You and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason! Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! Yvonne is just, Yvonne is just like, oh, damn it, it's you. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You... And your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! There! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! This will go well. Never mind. How about that, devil? Better run, boy. Fast. Now. Uh, screw this. Well, I don't know about you, but I am shocked and stunned that this went this way. Yeah, I thought that I never would have seen that one coming. I think it's funny. The best sword in the game in the in AC one is the one that you just saw him lose. Like in the, oh, is the that si the same one? It's same type. Did not the same one oh, exactly. Okay. The, the okay. old Syrian sword was called in this game. Okay. I don't know. Like the the, the way genealogical like passing down works in these games. Like you never no. know. It might have been the same one. That yeah. That's not Altair's sword. You can get Altair's sword though. I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. So how are they talking to Desmond right now? Because I like to imagine that Sean is just bent over, like, it is Desmond's here. body, just Get whispering his all in his God. ear. I've been looking <laughs> everywhere for you. I couldn't stop them, Annette. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What of my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. 
just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. There's a lot of houses north of the Duomo. Yeah, that's that's the same energy as like those uh, those bits you see where like when when people think they're the protagonist and they like they get in the taxi and he's like, "Where to?" and you're like, "Oh, lady, I don't know where you live." <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a bit more on that one. I'm sure I have just what you need somewhere. Like I get that the Templars have sway, but like how the heck do they justify killing like an eight year old in public he for conspiracy? He was an assassin. He was an eight year old. I mean they've done some pretty terrible things that are pretty unjustifiable. There's no doubt. The Templars are evil. It's kind of a question of, are they entirely evil, or do they have a point? In some ways. But he was an eight-year-old. Yeah. And Uberto and these guys are evil. I'm just... It's more of a case of, are their, um... Motivations themselves evil, or is it just they're very bad at doing them in a way that's not terrible? Mm. Which I think that's a lot of it. Their, their, whatever their end goal is, it's always undermined by their own individual greed and uh, hatred. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which occasionally affects the assassins, too. There it is. There's one of the symbols. What does it mean? That's the Omega symbol, Sean. That's, that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. To, oh, shit. It's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond, then. I can't believe this. Again, this is straight up the Hello. Omega symbol. This is uh, they, not the they, symbol. They why it's there? 16. Listen, <laughs> I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that that that, that proves it all. But I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh, oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. written by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> yeah. I love how the code there was literally 2468. Yeah. That would really hurt. 
Oh, he's wearing armor. That makes it okay. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, that would make it worse. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego, call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. Uh... But I can make you one. And why are you going to oh. teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Uh, hopefully not always. We must yeah. walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. In regards to what you said earlier, I uh, we I feel like the good care of you. I feel like the several dead people uh, would have something to say about me not being a killer. Or they at least fell they would if they on were it. Not dead. It's their fault. They fell on it. I did pull my sword out, but they're the <laughs> ones that threw themselves onto it. I'm not. There's no group I can actually blend with. Does that not? Does that not count? Oh no. No. That being said, this one I can. So I read that apparently um, there was going to be a Lego James Bond video game. <laughs> that would have been interesting. It, but they canceled it because like the the source material was so inappropriate for for kids. And I was like, but Lego Indiana Jones exists. That's. And you made that kid friendly. True. True. Like, if you can figure out a way to translate a guy getting sliced and diced by a freaking plane propeller into a funny slapstick bit, you can find a way to do that with a lot of the Lego. Yeah. With, with James Bond, I mean. Yeah, fair enough. Like, it would not be out of place in the, like, take the odd job fight from uh, Goldfinger, for example. You could have just had James, like, pull the hat off, but his head was still in it and, like, still moving around and interacting, and him just throw the hat away. Mm. And then the body's just running around trying to find it. Like, that would, that's not any worse than anything else that's been in a Lego game. That's, yeah. I want to see Lego Austin Powers. <laughs> You know what? That's another one that I'm surprised wasn't a, uh, a Lego oh. Dimensions uh, IP. That one I'd be more surprised if they did. <laughs> I don't know that. I mean, they did. I mean, they made Lego Nazis in Lego Indiana Jones, so. Yes, and, and that you. Now that you've Maybe learned you to blend, them. I'll show you how to yep. use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Help! Somebody stop him! There's a cut, first of all. <laughs> they attack you, so you must leave once you pick right. their pocket. 
also, wait, speaking of pockets, do any of these women have any? Um, I don't where, think about that where one. Are they, where are they hiding the money? <laughs> He's going insane. He's gone mad with power. <laughs> I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to get like, f oh, crap. Oh, I was not a- Wait, the priests! <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? Oh, oh no! Please don't kill me! And stay up! Thank you for teaching me this stuff. <laughs> you can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah. But you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. I'm not gonna unpack that, let's just uh, move yeah, on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I could be. None of them are very good. Uh. She dropped a pizza pocket on her arm and it was just a bit too hot. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that a hot pocket is magma when it comes out. Unless you use my microwave. <laughs> is yours broken? It's not broken, it's just not quite as effective as it could be. Like, so you, you have to leave... You have to leave things in a little bit longer than the package okay. says if you want it to be it, if you want it to be optimal. So you you'd have a cold hot pocket. You you'd it would seem fine when you first get into it and then you'd get to the middle and like, "Ah, it's cold." Uh, and that's the kind of thing. What the heck? I don't know what happened, but I didn't die, so we're going to call that there. They definitely improved the parkour to be able to Fix it if you screw up. Yeah. I think you should be right around here. I I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come, this way. Che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the original What are you plans? doing? <laughs> the contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select any e when a new Five Nights at Freddy's game comes out. <laughs> there, it's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? 
I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Imagine if they made that a quick time event and you could potentially actually lose the <laughs> finger. <laughs> uh, incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard, open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Sir, this is just such a comically bad scene. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? <laughs> what about now? <laughs> <laughs> I just love how stupid this scene is. Let's see. Tell me what I'm I moving really faster, but I'm remembering a certain this. someone that just made me think I was going to lose my ring finger. It's going to take the time. Had enough yet? Oh, man. Oh, oh, this oh. seems terrible. Ready to talk? All right. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city <laughs> gives them to me for uh, research. Uh, what? I'm, I'm, See, I'm cradling him. I know. <laughs> like, you can't just fling him over your shoulder and just, like, Like every other him. body? Yeah. Hush, little guardsman, don't say a word. Don't say you die. I'm gonna throw you and say Betty bye. <laughs> Over there. So, um... Just drop it. What kind of paintings do you do? <laughs> Thank you, Leonardo. I call it hentai. It is my... It is a new invention. <laughs> and remember, you can find more of the strange pages. <laughs> Bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Do you see uh, a third John Wick movie straight up ripped off the, the middle finger, not middle finger, the ring finger thing? I did not. In, in, at one point, he's talking to somebody, and like, in order to like gain passage somewhere or something, they make him cut off his ring finger for de to show dedication. And he de does he do it? Yes, he does actually. Huh. That's kind of badass. It's John Wick. True. I feel like I feel like he could like eat an apple while watching My Little Pony, and it would still somehow be badass. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> My Little Pony friendship is murder. There we go. That's that's the big feature the first game was missing. What the? A launch assassination. Well, you do you you had you did have that. Um, you just didn't have air assassinations or anything yet. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Even then, I almost slipped. It's funny, Leonardo talking about like the the age of the design and everything. That's another uh, another zero punctuation line when he's j talking about um, Assassin's Creed Origins and like uh, Bayek's wife gives him the, the the hidden blade. It's like this was made by figures in ancient times, and I'm like, bitch, we're in ancient times. <laughs> 
I want to know how this thing was still holding up when an Italian oh. teenager got his hands on it. Not the same one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, they do go in, like, even in this game, they actually do establish that it is in, in the time period before Amunet, which is Aya. Um, like, the, the hidden blade was used by, used to kill Darius. Right. So that, that was, even then, because they established Amunet is the one that killed Cleopatra in this game. right. I walk it off. Awesome. I didn't take any damage there, actually. But, uh, they, they had, so they had established the, that the Hidden Blade is as old as, um, like, at least 400, 450 BC. Mm -hmm. That's the first recorded use of it, though, was Darius. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does, but I trust he did more than talk. Oh. Dang it! I've given you the <laughs> skills. Leonardo's given you the <laughs> he, does, he does All absolutely nothing. Is the deed. <sighs> I find Uberto. This is the best playthrough ever. my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Whose freaking idea was it to make the button prompts be mean literally nothing? <laughs> There's no button for that on the freaking keyboard. <laughs> like, I mean, that's one of the most infuriating might... decisions of game design I've seen in a long time. In in their defense, they may not have had PC gaming in mind. Like, they may be having like the controller, so like the colors you would associate with the, like the Xbox colors. Okay. So you see green, you immediately know A. Admittedly, That's an easy you know, update. That's a UI update. That's not oh, hard. Yeah, no. I did kill those people. <laughs> no, the scaffolding killed those people. They were just under it. True. Gravity. It was gravity. Damn you, Isaac Newton. <laughs> It's like, I have missed every single quick time event so far. You know how often I do that? Never, when I play on PlayStation. So here's an interesting thought that I, like, I, maybe, um, some future thing might, uh, 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 disprove it. So, like, we know, like, Adam and Eve are in this timeline. Yes. What if... And, and like, we, we said the, uh, the, the, the Hidden Blade was around even, like, during, like, those BC times. Like, it had been, like, made by then. What if Cain built the first one, and that's how he killed Abel? Um... They do go, in, go into Cain and Abel... I do not believe that they have any mention of anything like that where the Hidden Blade was built by them. I think we're supposed to believe, understand that it was built by, um... Wait. What was the guy's name? I oh, know Darius was the, uh... Assassin, wasn't he? D Darius was the guy that killed Xerxes. That, that's, I got those mixed up. But, uh... That was the first recorded use of it. I think there it implies that they built it. Okay, alright. Because it was also, it was a different design. It went on the front of the arm as well. Mm -hmm. it's, really, it's just a weapon. Like, it's not really the most complex weapon. It is more complex than most what they would have had back then, but... I have to go over there. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like... You know, obviously, like, they go, like, Odyssey and Origins, like, they go into, like the starts of those things, but, like, it would be interesting to me if, like, because, like, technically, since Kane was the first murderer, he also, that would also make him the first assassin. Well, technically, they do say that Adam and Eve wait, are the are like the first assassins or something. They're the ones that kind of start the revolt from humanity versus the Isu, versus the, those that came before. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so much earlier on, I don't think they would be called assassins. 
Um, I think the that whole order it it's. Again the overall conflict does go back, but the conflict. actual fight between the assassins and the Order bounds. of the Ancients or Templars does you begin with um, crowned yourself Lorenzo Bayek. di Medici, Principe okay. of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Or you could argue of with Darius, but Darius, Ever but um, how convenient. At least now we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. I know they mentioned that one of the truth puzzles is the Mark of Cain. Um... I don't remember what the Mark of Cain really was. I don't know if it was that he killed his brother for the apple or not, but. Oh, okay. I, I'm. This is off, fully off of memory. We'll. we'll yeah, no. Which that also brings up like, what's what's the in what's the Assassin's Creed like in universe explanation for the flood, like Noah's flood. That I don't remember. But I could totally, considering everything that happens like in in Rogue, I could totally see that being like one of the precursor sites, like falling. Well, that could easily have. That probably was the catastrophe that brought down the Isu. It might not have been a flood, but it might have been. Oh, I keep trying. I don't want to <laughs> drop them. <laughs> Point being, though, that could easily have been the um, the sun flare catastrophe that ends the first civilization as it was. Since Adam and Eve and that whole period takes place before the fall of the first civilization. Right. Good evening, compagnoniere. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying this. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditore family. And to think I won't stop at Germania's. Brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known the evils? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record. You! You would have done the same. <coughs> to save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditorio not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! So cool. Assassino! Take it! No! Just be ready to strike when the time is right. <laughs> Oh, well, that... <laughs> I'll use the door, then. That was another Jack Sparrow moment. <laughs> it was a lot harder to get away in the other game. <laughs> they didn't really give you as much... Time to figure out your escape in the in the other one. No, they didn't. And once, the, if there's anyone chasing you, any guard you come in contact with will immediately know to start chasing you. Yeah. Also, the guy that rings the bell would be omniscient and immediately oh, start yeah. ringing. I've hurt my shin so many times in this game. <laughs> Like, how he keeps this up for, like, 26 run. years. <laughs> Not quite Naruto running. His hands are going pretty far back, but they're not staying there. 
But you, you know who they've had, like, actually like Naruto a, run, like, a lot in the recent years? Is Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, <laughs> yeah. his run cycle is just straight up Naruto running. Yeah. Knock, knock. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. I've added a program for tracking your variety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. Now you die! Please, God, let me live! This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Do you have one of these capes, like, in real life? Because I feel like... I do not. Oh. Ow, 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 crap. Oh, crap. All right. All right. Don't get me wrong, there's been times I wanted one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Problem is, I feel like any that you would buy would be so low quality they wouldn't do it justice. I feel like you'd have to make it. I don't know. I've found some. I've found some places that do these kind of, those kinds of things that are actually very high quality. Maybe. Like if you like, there's plenty of Etsy shops that I'm that I would stake my stake my name on. Alright. Good say, like, I know there's plenty of, like, Halloween costume level qualities. I'm like, eh. It's... Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. The, the... If I'm going as an assassin, I'm going all out. Well, I don't even mean, like, the whole outfit. I mean just, like, the shoulder cape. Yeah. Because I, I have found plenty of places that do make, like, just those. Well, that that could, yeah. There's some... Because Renaissance fairs, those, those fit pretty well there. Mm-hmm. Good thing they all forgot me once I tore that paper down. <laughs> that was the only one anyone put up. Well, no, they put some on random rooftops where no one's going to find them. I know. <laughs> Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, bring me their head. He's getting us all some yeah. <laughs> but to do that, we need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. So, like, obviously Ezio and Claudia Stay didn't close. know about, like, the fan- about, like, the assassin heritage. Did- did his brother know? I think yes. Um, Federico was technically an assassin at that point. Okay. They- at least they imply that way, um, in later games. Oh no, I forgot about the minstrels. Yep. It's their version of the drunk guys. Yeah. 
They get rid of the drunk guys and poor people and replace them with minstrels. And other poor people. <laughs> Aren't there other? I thought there were other like beggars. Um, I don't think there are in this one. There are pickpockets though. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, so I guess the, uh, it looks like you're going to be able to, like, drive the Death Star in the new LEGO Star Wars game. Couldn't you drive it kind of in one of the other ones? I, I feel like you actually could in, like, LEGO Star Wars 2. In 2, definitely no. Maybe it was a Star Destroyer. And it was pretty much just a very small version of a Star Destroyer on a, one of the already existing ship maps. I saw the um, Galaxy Rave function. Did you see that? Blue Shack. Hello? Alrighty. We uh, may have lost him. I think it might have gone the wrong way here. So I gotta make some backtracking. Oh, they're not hunting me. I don't have to actually. 
I spent this whole time thinking that I was being hunted, forgetting there was a whole mission about not being, about making sure you're not hunted. Whoa! That added to my notoriety. Ah. Let them have it. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Okay, Claudia, please don't shove your mother. Don't know. Let's what go. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. Of course, they didn't feel like adding that to the scene. They all just do that in Brotherhood. I'm back. Are you back? Yes, of course. I figured your internet cut out. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna go too much farther tonight, probably. That's fine. Did you get out of? Uh, we just got out of Florence. Say yeah. while I was out. Yes, but you didn't okay. miss. You didn't miss the beautiful line that's coming up soon. The lyric. Okay. I don't know what like. If like our new like I know we did get a new router fairly recently, so maybe it's just it just happens to be a really unreliable one, or like what this problem is. But yeah, yeah, I get that. It happens, but it's okay. I didn't. It I, it wasn't too long before I realized you were gone this time. Yeah. So I only started rambling to myself for like ten minutes. No problem. I got midway through, realized, oh wait. I'm not notorious anymore. I can just walk right out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be still. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! Are you still what on the game want, or? Thierry? Yes, I am. So many things. Okay, I. A larger palazzo. Can't see it. Two new steeds. Oh, I can't just see it. A prettier bride. You can't see it? Yeah, oh, no. Yes. Your oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. for the loss of your father and brothers. Okay, yeah, what you're up to. Now that there's no one left to help. Shit stain. <laughs> I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. I grow tired of this game. Finish him. And do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! Um, Leave the women to their own devices. I'm here too. You can go kill that man who is violently assaulting your mother. No, she's fine. 
physical violence is good for trauma. Oh, I don't have any medicine. That's good to know. I'm just stabbed a bunch of guys in the back here. <laughs> Am I fighting dirty? Nah. Nah. You have my thanks. You're a Keep the assassin. <gasps> Your job is done. Wait you for it. Somewhere. Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario. Ah! Mario. <laughs> it's been too long, you both. Ah! Long. I recognize the lie. I heard what <laughs> happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. They came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. Oh, what? I think you will find much to Excuse like. Excuse you. You're telling me to keep pace? <laughs> My keeping For pace now? now? Next How about now? Friend, the year after its enemy again. <laughs> on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow. But I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Yes, that's life. Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Yeah. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I will prepare a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Right. The blacksmith. Now, does his mother know? Like, what? Yeah. Or... Okay. He didn't keep it so, secret like, from anyone that was of age knew about it. At this point, it was only Federico. So. There we go. Now, if I fall on my shin, I won't break it. <laughs> Please come again. The doctor. I do love that, like, I, I talk a lot about the aesthetic of Assassin's Creed. I, the symbol is one of my favorites. It's a very good symbol. Like, I, I've said, like, for a long time, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never really wanted to get a tattoo. 
Like, it just doesn't appeal to me. If I did, I would get the Assassin's Creed logo, like, on my forearm. Yeah. Like, that is, that's always been at the top of my list. Yeah, it's a pr I, I very much do like the logo. Get the, get the Assassin logo on one arm and the Templar on the other, just to be really confusing. That's it. <laughs> Come back if you need me. Now that actually seems like a pretty good place to end it. It does seem now. like a good ending, yeah. I agree. Alright, so, once again, for anyone who chose to uh, join us for this, either at any point, uh, thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good night, everyone.